This week in your weekly upgrade, we give you a heads up on some new awesomeness with Google Meet. We share the latest hot topic in the lovely VLE, and we give you a full rundown on all those apps that you can't wait to use. I'm Jordan R, and this is your weekly upgrade. I hope you're ready for this. Starting today and rolling out in the next two weeks, Google Meet will be introducing a fresh new look with its user interface. Some amazing new features to meet up with are the floating picture, where you can now move just the view of yourself to wherever you'd like on the screen, or it can stay defaulted at the bottom. To allow you to see your viewers at eye level, you can also finally unpin your presentation so it creates a tiled view for yourself so you can see all your students. We know you've been waiting a while for this one. You may thank the Google now. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! Also, no matter the number of participants, their names will always be present. The bottom bar is now nicely streamlined to have all the necessary tools you'll need all in one place, including the participants list, chat, and activities. Also, the leave call button is moved from the microphone and camera to stop those accidental hangups. Can I do that? This will hopefully stop the many questions coming in regarding using another app instead of Meet that shall remain nameless. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Ah, the VLE, the environment for all your virtual learning needs. If your students are having a hard time logging into the VLE, here are some troubleshooting tips depending on the error message that they get. If they get the error message that says the system is down for maintenance, then they will need to clear their cache. If you are unsure on how to do this, they can just see the description below. Nope, just a little further down. Yep, right there. And you'll be able to click the link to the doc to clear your cache. If you'd rather see how to clear your cache through video, you can check out episode one where we show you how to do that. And once they have cleared their cache, they'll be right as rain. If they get the error message that says incorrect password, then they will need to contact you as the teacher to reset their password. Now on the flip side, if you're trying to add a student to your class and you get the error message saying username not recognized, then please reach out to the VLE support and they can help you out from there. Hold on a second. I'm talking about our love of apps, of course. If you're looking to use an app with your students, make sure you check out the OCDSB's vetted app list to ensure it's got the OCDSB's stamp of approval in the OCDSB. You'll find this list on our Modern Learning website. Click on Asynchronous Learning and you'll see it under the super helpful troubleshooting tips for Chromebooks. In the sheet, you can view the app list in its entirety by clicking the All tab. If you're looking for a specific app, you can press Control H on your keyboard, type the name or partial name of the app you're looking for, and then click Find. Using Control H will search across all of the tabs in the Google Sheet, not just the tab that is currently showing. Please pay special attention to any apps listed under the Not Approved tab. Whoa, no touchy. For those of you that would like to just peruse the list, use the tabs along the bottom to view by tool, by subject, or by grade. You may notice that some of the apps are superstars, as shown by the star icon. These apps are highly recommended by our friends in the Program and Learning team, the Learning and Support Services team, or by us here in BNLT. Another thing you'll want to also pay attention to is cost. Apps that are free are, well, free. Freemium? What does that even mean? It means that you'll have access to a free basic version, which you're free to use, but would need to fork over some dough to get additional features. Speak to your admin. Happy apping! Well, that's it for today's weekly upgrade. Thank you for being you. And if you have a second, please like subscribe and share to stay upgraded. We're always around in office hours waiting for the question of the day or even just to say hi. Hello. Have an amazing day everyone.